today's episode we're going to have a look at various drill types and how to choose the right drill. Maybe you're new to DIY and uh, you've decided to go down to your local hardware store and you're looking to buy a cordless drill. Uh, I remember when I first started renovating my home the first thing I bought was a cordless drill. Maybe you're in the same boat. Maybe you've never bought a power tool before and you're deciding hey I'm going to go down and I'm going to buy myself a cordless drill. You get down to the hardware store and to your utter amazement there's not just one type of cordless drill but there's like 50 different drills to choose from and you have no idea which drill to choose there's multiple manufacturers and it seems like each manufacturer has about 10 different drills and you're thinking all i want is a cordless drill why are there so many choices well today i'm going to explain to you the differences of each drill type I'm not specifically looking at manufacturers here, I'm looking at the different types of drills and what they're used for so that you can make an informed decision on what drills to buy for your own needs. So let's get into it. First of all, let's just start with a basic cordless drill. What I've got on the end here is a, a cordless drill driver. And it's called a drill driver because it can drill holes and it can also screw in screws like a screwdriver. And what you'll notice with this is that it has a, let me just open this up. It has a keyless chuck, which means it's a, it's a chuck that you actually tighten by hand and in the front of the chuck you'll notice that there's three metal teeth and as the, ch as the chuck closes let me just close it here as the chuck closes the teeth grip onto the drill bit and so you can actually you can put various size drill bits into this and they can be perfectly round and this drill driver will actually hold that uh, uh, drill bit firmly in place. Uh, you'll notice that some drill bits actually have a, a cut edge so to make it slightly hexagonal and you can line those up with the three teeth to get a really strong grip on that. Now cordless drills have a not only do they have the keyless chuck but they also have this other collar on here called a clutch and right now I've got it set in drill mode which is just for drilling holes so you put it in drill mode you just drill your holes and all you use is the variable speed button on the top as to how fast you want to drill when you when you are driving in screws you'll want to use the clutch and you'll want to adjust it uh, they've got various numbers all the way down uh, to one and basically when you when you set it on a low number it's, it's going to stop drilling uh, when, it, when the tension gets to a certain level. Using this chuck, uh, when you set it on a very low number, you can, it will hardly, uh, as soon as it reaches a little bit of tension, it's going to stop uh, turning that screw. If you want to drive that screw in deeper, you just put the numbers higher and higher. If you put it on drill mode, it will keep drilling and it'll keep trying until you either destroy the screw or until the drill's turning in your hand and you can't hold it still. So that's your basic cordless drill. Those are the features that, is that it has. So if you're just wanting to uh, drill holes or screw in screws, your cordless drill driver is going to do the job for you. Then moving on to the next tool is the hammer drill, the cordless hammer drill. So this tool does exactly the same as what the uh, drill driver does but it has an extra mode which is the hammer function mode and so you'll see it on the top of the drill on the collar normally they're on the collar sometimes they're on the side of the drill you can adjust the settings but it's got your clutch settings uh, this one in particular has from 22 all the way down to one and then it's got drill mode and then it's got hammer mode now hammer mode engages two little gears that have teeth on them that basically while you are drilling those gears are 
ratcheting together causing a vibration mode and you'll see that this chuck actually you can push it in round about I suppose that's about two mil uh, it pushes in whereas your normal cordless drill driver you can't push the chuck at all it's fixed in place so what this does is that when you are drilling into masonry uh, instead of just turning the uh, drill bit it's actually vibrating the drill bit and so it actually drives it into the brick or into the concrete whatever you're drilling into now you'll notice in the in your uh, hardware store that drill bits come with different shapes and sizes this is a standard uh, drill bit that you use for wood uh, and this here that's got this kind of uh, added on uh, what would you call that it's not triangular but it's kind of a raised edge here that's for masonry and and what happens is you need to use you need to use a masonry bit for going into concrete or brick you don't use a normal drill bit because all you're going to do is end up bluntening the edge of your your bit and you'll ruin it and it'll need to be resharpened but but putting this in a hammer drill is going to help with that hammering action so as it vibrates and turns it's chipping into the concrete or the brick now these these drills here have what's called a keyless chuck if you have an older drill like this uh, corded power drill you'll notice that it's got a chuck that's keyed and basically when you put your drill bit in you need to put this key in and you turn it to tighten the chuck or you turn it anti-clockwise to loosen the chuck and get it out for me the, the way I choose whether I'm going to have a corded tool or a battery powered tool is depending on what I'm going to use that tool for how much power do I need and also how long do I need that tool to stay on so if I'm drilling a lot of holes say I, I ne I'm needing to use a, a hole saw bit I'll probably use a corded tool because then I can just keep going I'm not going to lose power but if I just need to do something fairly quick or I'm just doing one or two holes or I'm drilling in a couple of couple of holes driving in a few screws I would go cordless uh, also if I need a lot of power in the tool and I don't want to burn out my batteries I would go for a corded version of that tool but cordless tools are becoming more and more popular these days and uh, they're really handy to use they're very versatile very mobile it's easy to, to grab one off the shelf go into the room that you need them uh, need to use it in and just use it you don't have to worry about power cables you don't have to worry about plugging the thing in uh, you can just use it straight away but where you need more power like something like chipping away concrete with the rotary hammer drill I would certainly not be buying a rotary hammer drill in a cordless format I would definitely go for a corded tool there. anyway let's move on now to the next section which is impact drivers now these work differently to your cordless drills in that they they're not designed for drilling holes they're designed for driving in screws and you can see on the front they have a different connection so your chuck here takes a drill bit whereas the impact driver this collet on the front here takes a hexagonal bit so you can't put a round drill bit into an impact driver yeah, if I take this one out here you can see that it's got a hexagonal bit and it also has a little recess here so that when you push it in it holds it in place and the, the bit can't come out the big difference between an impact driver and a cordless drill is the way it hammers the uh, the bit in a circular motion it's not going forwards and backwards like your hammer drill your hammer drill is creating a forwards vibration to hammer in that masonry bit whereas your impact driver is creating a circular hammering motion and it's hammering and letting go hammering and letting go so it's not applying constant torque to the tool and that basically saves your wrist so that you can you can uh, use the tool it's hammering and letting go the whole time and it's not going to bend your wrist at all it's not going to catch and twist the tool in your arm the way I can describe this hammering motion best 
is if you've ever taken a wheel nut off of a wheel and it won't budge maybe you put a bar in place and you still can't get it to move well, then what you do is you take a hammer out and you hit that bar now if you imagine your your impact wrench is is hammering around and around and around in a circle that's exactly what it's doing to your screw and it will just keep driving that screw into whatever material you've got it's a very very powerful tool and it's well worth investing in one of these you can often buy these tools in sets where it comes with the cordless drill and the impact driver so that's the drill driver the hammer drill and the impact driver then you get the next thing along here it also looks like a drill but it's not it's called an impact wrench and the difference between this and an impact driver is the type of bit or the connection in the front the impact driver has a collet where you put in a hexagonal bit the impact wrench has the square uh, you can get them in different sizes you can get half inch three quarter inch i think you can even get a one inch and all you would attach to that is your socket so you'd plug a, a socket on the front and then it's got a variable speed adjustment on the back and you can just undo uh, bolts or nuts with this with relative ease and it's, it's a very very powerful tool as well then last on the list we have a rotary hammer drill so here we've got a regular hammer drill this is a rotary hammer drill the difference between these two things is power if you're doing a small job uh, that you know doesn't require a lot of power then a hammer drill would be fine but if you really need to blast through concrete or through brick and you need to chip away uh, lifting tiles that won't come off the floor you need to get a rotary hammer drill now a rotary hammer drill I would for me personally I would only buy a corded version of this tool uh, this rotary hammer drill by Ryobi uh, gives me five joules of impact power whereas I've seen most battery powered uh, rotary hammer drills give two and a half joules or two joules of power so this is double the power and it's all because it's corded the other reason I buy a corded one is that if you're taking up tiles or you know off the floor or off the wall or you're going into concrete generally you're going to be you're going to be working for a couple of hours with this tool in that stage you would have either burnt out your batteries or you'll have had to swap through multiple batteries to try and get the job done whereas it's far easier just to plug it in you're at full power all the time and you can get the job done very easily when you buy a rotary hammer drill you can get rotary hammer drills that have two modes or three modes basically your three modes are drill only mode drill and hammer mode and hammer only mode when you are drilling into masonry and you're wanting to hammer that that masonry drill bit in he has a masonry drill bit it's got a it's got a raised edge on the front and you're wanting to hammer that uh, drill as you're drilling the hole you need to put it on hammer drill mode right now I've got a chisel uh, bit in in the hammer drill and that's just used for lifting tiles or chiseling away concrete maybe you want to break a brick in half and you'd use a chisel bit for that you wouldn't put it on rotary hammer mode for that you would put it on hammer hammer mode only and all that's going to do is it's just going to hammer that bit it's kind of like a, uh, a jackhammer on the side of the road that you've seen construction workers use it basically that's hammer mode only so if you're going to get a rotary hammer drill look for one that has three modes now the big difference between a rotary hammer drill and a regular hammer drill is the distance that the uh, the impact motion makes on the bit you can see here in the rotary hammer drill this bit moves uh, with the with the movement of the bit and the collet uh, it moves about an inch whereas on the hammer drill you're only getting a couple of mil movement so a rotary hammer drill makes a much bigger impact uh, when you drill it. This rotary hammer drill has another feature which is called SDS technology. SDS stands for uh, slotted drive system. 
and basically that just means that on your on your bit you've got these kind of slots uh, that go all the way to the back and then you've got alternately you've got slots that are shorter and those shorter slots are held in place by a ball bearing and that just keeps this bit from falling out of the front the other two are just for alignment and so what this does is it gives your bit an extra bit of movement and it makes makes a big difference i would look out for that as well i would if i was buying a, a rotary hammer drill i would look out for a, one that has sts technology so there you have it if you're looking for a drill you're wanting to get into uh, diying maybe you've never done that before well these are your options if you're just needing to drill holes screw in screws then just a cordless drill driver will do you well if you're needing to do a bit of drilling into something harder like concrete or masonry get yourself a hammer drill if you are doing a lot of work where you're screwing screws into things an impact driver is definitely going to save your arm and do the job a lot quicker the impact wrench for loosening nuts tightening bolts and the rotary hammer drill for heavy duty work going into masonry you might also be wondering why do i have so many drills and you might think it's overkill but actually it isn't because i've recently been renovating uh, my shower and i've used probably about four of these drills all at once so i've used the uh, first of all i've been putting studs onto a brick wall and to do that uh, first of all i used a regular drill this just this regular drill with a force in a bit to put a kind of a countersink into the stud so that i could put a bolt through that wouldn't be flush with the edge of the stud so i'd have that set up with that then i would have my drill set up with a with an eight mil drill bit for drilling the hole through the stud then i would have my impact driver uh, waiting to fasten the screw and I'd have my hammer drill to drill through the stud into the brickwork and so I would have all of these set up and just use them interchangeably so it's you could say well if I was only doing one or two holes I could use probably a hammer drill and just change the bit in between uh, each process but when you're doing about 30 holes like this it's so much quicker to have each drill set up with the exact bit that you need and you just pick up the different drills and go for it. It also gives me an opportunity to use tools that are cross-platform or different manufacturers are on, on, their battery, uh, on their battery platforms. And so I can buy, it. it gives you an opportunity to buy certain tools on one plat one, from one manufacturer you have the battery system and maybe you buy another set on a, on a different manufacturer and you will have the battery platform to buy other tools. What I've noticed is that there's good and bad in, in, in most different manufacturers and sometimes you'll find that one particular tool brand has a great sander and another particular tool brand, uh, brand has a great say jigsaw. And so if you have two different platforms, you could buy the jigsaw on the one brand and you could buy the sander on the other brand. So for me, that's quite a helpful, helpful thing to have. Well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It costs you nothing. All it is is a click of a button, but it really helps the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless.